What I have here is a Winter & Company Pianet, a unique 68 key small piano that was designed for apartments. This was a piano that you could get up 20 flights of stairs. It still weighs 300 pounds, but that's half the average upright and a third the average grand piano. Unfortunately, it has become impossible to maintain or keep the pianet in tune. I love having a functioning piano as well as the piano aesthetic. So the idea was to remove all the inner workings of the pianet and retrofit a digital piano into that space. The most challenging part of the project was finding a digital piano that would fit. They simply don't make them this size and I wasn't willing to compromise on unweighted or semi-weighted keys. I wanted as close to the feel of a real piano as possible. So I took an old Yamaha 35B that I've had for many years and performed a little surgery. I tackled this piece first to make sure I had a solution before I did anything to the PNN. Once I got under the hood, I was pleasantly surprised to see that the electronics were split into three sections, the low keys, the mid keys, and the high keys. This enabled me to remove the circuit board for the high keys only, disconnect the wiring, and cut the plastic casing right at that point, leaving me with a 64 key digital piano that perfectly fit into the space I needed. If you're someone who's looking to create a smaller digital piano for travel or for space reasons, the best I can say is look for something similar to a Yamaha 35B or digital pianos that are designed in this way. If you're able to open it up and see that the electronics are separated in some way, then this may be doable for you as well. From there, I began piano disassembly, which was pretty simple. I just went slowly and methodically, save all the keys and all the cool metal components to be used for future projects. I did have to modify the height of the main platform as the digital piano stands quite a bit taller than the original keys. But beyond that, it was mostly just removing pieces that were required for the original components and will no longer be needed for this much lighter, more simple digital piano setup. I pulled the electronics out of the Yamaha. All the ports and everything came out nice and easy. They're just attached to one of the boards. I affixed the two circuit boards to their own little piece of wood just so I can have things nice and secure. So we still have all our connections, power, sustain, volume, pedal, everything that we had on the original keyboard. I took the circuit board off behind the keyboard controls and I cut that plastic section out of the keyboard frame, attached the two back together and affixed them to the underside of the piano. I know it's crooked, don't care. Give the old gal a little bling. She looks great and she sounds great. I get some of the additional features of a digital piano like different instruments. And can even use it as a player piano of sorts. Though that'll probably never happen. And lastly, because there's a lot of space inside a piano, you turn the lid into a fold down writing desk and make the inside a magical happy place. Thanks for watching.